So in my opinion, if you have done your graduation in India and you have got 60% or more, then you can definitely go and study at this top ranked university. The exposure which you are going to get here would be unmatched to any other university probably in the UK or in the world because 54 ranking in QS is quite, just imagine somebody uh, coming up to you and say that we can get you the admission at IIT, the NIIT, all the top notch universities in India or abroad. Would you not be fascinated to study at those universities? Definitely would be. So you would need uh, 28 days old funds. Doesn't matter where those funds are coming from, but it has to be kept in one account for at least 28 days to apply for the visa. Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, we are going to discuss about University of Bristol and how easy it is to get the admission at University of Bristol. The only thing is the fees is a little bit on the higher side. However, if you have got the good percentage and a good work experience background, then you can definitely avail these scholarships that would help you reduce the amount of the tuition fees. And in this video, we are going to cover each and everything, the information which is available with us so that we can help you out get the admission in the top ranked university like Bristol, which has a QS world ranking of 54 in the world. Just imagine somebody uh, coming up to you and say that we can get you the admission at IIT, the NIIT, all the top notch universities in India or abroad. Would you not be fascinated to study at those universities? Definitely would be. The only thing is how to get the funds managed. To get the funds managed, you can get the education loan, which you can easily pay off if you study from a university which has such high ranking. And if you will study a course, which is going to be high in demand. So if you are studying a high demand course from a, a well-reputed university from around the world, then you have the highest chances of getting a good job. And the higher the ranking of the university, the higher the demand you would have in the market once you complete the course. So we are going to focus on University of Bristol in this video. So watch this video till the end so that you get the complete information. So now let's talk about the admission requirement for this university. How much percentage you should have? So you need to have at least 60% and above in your graduation in order to secure a seat in a top ranked university like Bristol. So 60% is not something which is too much to ask. It is something which you can easily get. And most of you, if you are watching this video and are planning to go to Bristol, then definitely you would have that much of percentage. Now, your uh, you need to have the maths requirement. Uh, if you're planning to do any technical course, then you need to have maths. So in this video, we are also going to discuss about the M M uh, MSc in financial technology with data science. MSc data science, we are going to uh, look at MSc scientific computer and data science. Uh, health data science and uh, economics with data science. So because data science is one hot course, so I've taken all these examples from the data science that you would have different specialization within data science and you would be able to get so many jobs. So in order to get the in order to get the admission in the data science faculty, then what all requirements are there? So I'll just read it out. This must include a two is to one in at least three quantitative unit from the math qualification requirement list below. In the final two year of the degree, if your degree subject is not listed in the main entry requirement, you must have an evidence of an upper second class honors degree, which include three unit of mathematics with 60% or above or international equivalent in each unit. So that basically means that in your last two years of graduation, your three main subjects from uh, they should be relevant to the maths and you need to have at least 60% and above in that one. Now, if you are also looking forward to get an IELTS waiver to study at this university, you would require at least 80% and above in your English standard in your class 12th. And you would require an MOI letter, which is medium of instruction letter from the college confirming that your last study was in English. Now, in order to get the admission for the master's program, you would also require your 10th, 12th graduation, your work experience documents, your CV, your degree, your passport, your IELTS, PT, uh, Duolingo or TOEFL, any of these uh, exam if you have taken or if you are going with MOI, then you would require MOI letter. You can also get a conditional offer letter. You can get the IELTS waiver based on MOI like I just told you. You would require an SOP, which is statement of purpose, which explains what is the motive behind doing this course, what are your future plans, what kind of jobs you are targeting. So this basically shows that how interested you are in doing this program. That's the key motive behind SOP and then LOR. So your LOR has to be from academic as well as from the work experience if you have got. So one LOR from your professor who have taught you and one from the work experience which you have got. If you have do not have any work experience, then you can get the two academic LOR and one can be from the uh, professor under whom you have done any project. 
you are now to in order to get the so these documents will take care of your offer letter in which we will help you give you all the samples and everything we are going to help you uh, get your admission done now after the admission you would need to focus on your visa so in order to get your visa your funds which is equivalent to your tuition fees as well as for your living expenses needs to be at least 20 days old 28 days old so you would need uh, 28 days old funds doesn't matter where those funds are coming from but it has to be kept in one account for at least 28 days to apply for the visa once you have those funds for 28 days then we would need to apply for the cash letter cash is your confirmation of enrollment that you have paid the minimum deposit and you have enough funds to take care of the rest of the formalities that you have enough funds to take care of the rest of the tuition fees as well as for the living expenses that's how you get the cash letter and then you would need to go for a tb test the tb test is to just to make sure that you do not have the tuberculosis and once all these documents are there then we file the visa so visa it's very easy to get for the uk now uh, the qs world ranking like i was telling you in the beginning it is only 54 so this is like the niche top uh 0.1 of the university in the world so this is like the high-end university you can get into now there are a lot of programs which which university caters so i'm going to tell you about uh, msc financial technology with data science because these are the programs which are uh, which are still available for september 24 intake however there there would be next intake which is which will be in january and then in may and then in september so there are multiple intakes the tentative tuition fees for the data science program is anywhere between 30000 pounds to 34200 pounds so you can uh, multiply it with the current rate which uh, will be there uh, with you so overall this is one university which you can target for september 24 and jan 25 and for the coming intakes and this would uh, be one of the most prestigious university you can study in so that you can get a good job once you complete your uh, masters as well as you can go for a bachelor's as well but the bachelor's the fees multiplied for three years would be way higher so in my opinion if you have done your graduation in india and you have got 60 percent or more then you can definitely go and study at this top ranked university the exposure which you are going to get here would be unmatched to any other university probably in the uk or in the world because 54 ranking in qs is quite something so all the best to you everyone who is applying for university of bristol if you have any question regarding any specific program entry requirement or anything related to visa you can comment below or if you want to get our assistance in getting the offer letter getting your visa everything we can help you out with we are just a click away there's a link given in the description through which you guys can get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you during the entire duration so thank you for watching this video i hope this video was helpful if you have any question then do write to us so that we can answer take care of yourself bye bye